Hey guys, it's me, Samara. And I'm Brandon. And welcome back to the Adventure Academy Science Fair. Hey Brandon, what you got there? It's a flashlight that I was gonna bring to my camping trip, but sadly, the batteries are dead. I wish I could just make my own batteries. Actually, Brandon, it's pretty simple to build your own, if you know the science. Okay, we need five pennies, and one has to be older than 1982. Okay. So, what are the pennies for? Well, to make a battery, you need two different types of metal that can react with each other. All new pennies are made from zinc and covered with a thin layer of copper. Pennies made before 1982 are almost pure copper. Next, we need a cup of acid. Lemon juice, orange juice, and vinegar are all acids. We're going to need some table salt, a paper towel, some scissors, a piece of sandpaper, and a pair of tweezers. We'll need to cut five little discs from a paper towel. They each have to be slightly smaller than the pennies. We should put on our safety goggles and gloves, add the salt to the vinegar, and we'll put the paper discs into soap. Now we have to sand down one side of the newer pennies to get all the copper off. Okay, now we have the zinc side showing. What do we do now? We start building the battery. Start with one penny with the zinc side up and use the tweezers to put a paper disc on top of it. Place the next penny on top of the discs in the same direction as the first, followed by another paper disc, and so on. Finish the stack with the pure copper penny on top. Now it's time to test out our battery. We'll use this LED that I got from a string of holiday lights. We need to make a complete circuit. So I'll attach one wire to the penny on top of the stack and the other to the bottom penny. Yay, it worked! Success! Just um, one problem. I don't think the battery we made will fit inside of my flashlight. Um... Really, Brandon? I can't think of everything. Hey, at least we know how to make a mini flashlight whenever we need one. Well, there you go. Another problem solved with the help of science. See you next time. Bye!